Good morning, guys. It's your Aaliyah, vlog number three. So today I need to go ahead and get prepared for a call this morning I have with a potential client. Pretty much just wanna know about the home buying process. Right now I'm gonna get up, wash my face, make some breakfast and then prepare for the call. It's at 11 o'clock. And then we're just gonna, you know, pretty much relax around the house today. I have a paper that's due today as well. Let's go ahead and hop into that. I thought y'all were gonna be able to see him. The geese like just flew by or whatever. Okay, so let me go ahead and make this little bed up real quick. I can't do that fake getting out the bed thing. Like I just can't do it. So I'm going to make up my bed because no. Tell, like that I only like sleep on one side of the bed I really don't even go to the other side so like it's so easy to make my bed up in the morning um, but yeah. so I'm like exhausted and I'm hungry so I'm probably gonna make like some eggs and bacon this morning. Some turkey bacon, turkey bacon. My bad guys, my mother called me. So y'all know when mama called, I gotta answer. Okay, it's just gonna be a little dark. I'm gonna just wash my face real quick so that I'm not rushing to do that when, uh, after I finish eating breakfast. All right, so. I'm gonna have to get better with these angles because what the world? Hopefully you guys watch the vlogs from, what was it? Earlier in the week on Monday, I wanna say it was, not Monday, on Wednesday and on Thursday, I vlogged, or no, on Wednesday I vlogged. So I recorded two videos on Wednesday, um, after, before and after I met my broker, so, Today's client, um, she just relocated, so we're gonna help her get situated hopefully today. If you guys don't know, and if I didn't properly introduce myself, my name is Aaliyah Clark. <laughs> Aaliyah M. Clark, to be exact. Um, I'm from Louisa County, Virginia. Uh, currently, I'm at the duty airport, but my passion is in real estate. So I'm getting out of the military here in the next couple of months um, to pursue my passion full time. And I know like, I know a lot of people, you know what I mean? A lot of people talk about, oh yeah, I know this person that's a realtor. I know that person that's a realtor. Um, yes, I am a realtor. Um, I have my license in North Carolina, but I don't plan to just stop at being a, I plan to go a lot further than that. Uh, so currently I'm working on my license to be an appraiser. Um, I'm also working on my master's of business administration with a concentration in real estate. I'm sure you guys know about that one already. I was talking about my experience going to William and Mary and then transferring to North Carolina Central. So far my experience with North Carolina Central has been fantastic. Um, it was a little bumpy uh, towards the, in the beginning, but you know, it's all coming together now. Uh, but I do plan to get my, so I have my North Carolina license already. I plan to get my South Carolina license here within the next couple of uh, months. My Georgia license as well. I could actually probably get that right now. I don't think that they have like any strict um, rules as far as if you already have your license in another state. And then I'm gonna get my Virginia license. So I plan to get all of those within the next five months. Um, so we're gonna see, I know some states have like a rule where you can like get uh, a license with them. Um, before like you've had your original license for like six months or something but i've had my license since november so i've already had my license for so november december january february so it's february so i've had my license for three months now but i have been in real estate since may of 2021 um i, I actually have a rental property in south carolina um i had an interesting uh call yesterday about that as well so you know things are going to be happening and i'm going to be coming on here and updating you guys on every everything that's going on so so let's go ahead and finish washing up this face though because it's already i want to say it's already like close to 10 o'clock 
I need to cook breakfast really quick because you know they say that's the, like that's the most important meal of the day and stuff. So I'm gonna eat breakfast. Then I'm going to write down some questions that I have for potential clients. And then uh, I'm going to uh, oh, I'm kind of doing this backwards, but whatever. Later on, I'm gonna start writing my paper after I get off that call with her. If I need to take a break, I'll probably just put some more stuff away. So I just moved into my place. So everything is kind of like, it's been crazy. Um, I still have some things to put away. I haven't lived in this uh, this place for, this is probably like my second day here. So <laughs> I have a couple of things that still need to be done. And I really need to give me some bookshelves because like I have so many books on my couch, like just sitting there. Um, I, I'm waiting for my internet to show up too. Like I should have just went to Spectrum and picked it up, but whatever. So we're good to go with it. I'm gonna take our CeraVe and put it back in the shower. Okay. So let's go. So I really need some lighting for this place because right now it's kind of like, it's really difficult to like shoot high quality videos because the lighting is so, I mean, it's not bad, but like it could definitely be better. So I'm going to get some more. Let me get some lamps and all that good stuff. Y'all don't have to bear with me, you know cook some breakfast really quick and then I will hop back on here with you guys. I hate buying avocados and they're not. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm done making breakfast. My bacon like started breaking apart and stuff. I'm like, what the world? So I got about 40 minutes before the call. So I need to hurry up and eat. Still haven't wrote down my questions yet. I'm actually probably gonna get off here with you guys and start writing those questions down so I'm prepared. Um, you know, I need to ask her questions like, like when is she looking to buy by? You know, different things like that. She probably is starting her home search. So I don't know for, for sure, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see what she's interested in now. Cause usually people have like a time frame. Like they'll be like just looking. So like maybe that's like 12 months, like within the year, not quite ready yet. So that may be within like the next like eight or nine months. So depending on when she's gonna want to buy by, you know, I'm gonna move accordingly um, to that. So, you know, I'm gonna just take a, really today is just me getting to know her and what her needs are and how I can be best meet them. You know what I mean? Um, I'm sure that, you know, if she was to get on the call and be like, I want to see houses like right now, I would, I would be like, okay, well, that's not what I was expecting, but I'm prepared. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna get off here with you guys, um, and I will check back in with you guys after the call. Y'all. So I'm sitting here, right? I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, let me call. Guys, she booked for the 26th, not today. <laughs> Y'all see how much I have in there? So I got up all early and stuff. It's not really early, but I got up. I'm ready to just go ahead and take a nap right now. I need to get this like process down because I sent her a text message and I basically was like, hey, this is Aaliyah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize that you had booked for the 26th. So. I would do that like bro excuse me guys like i'm gonna be me i'm gonna be 100 percent me every single moment of the day so 
I'm not one of those realtors that's gonna come on here and try to like act like I'm something that I'm not. You know what I mean? Like I know how to be professional, don't get me wrong, but y'all my family. So now we're just gonna chill, I guess. Um, probably make some content, post some educational things um, as far as real estate goes. I have a video that I need to edit that should be going up today. Um, I also have uh, that paper that I told you guys that I need to write. So I'm gonna write my paper. I may run to the store in a, I don't know if I should go right now. Really don't want to leave my apartment, but I do need to get me like some water and like some juice and stuff. Cause I didn't, somehow I spent like 300 and something dollars at Walmart the other day and I didn't buy water or cranberry juice. So I'm gonna probably go do that. Give me some water and stuff because your girl cannot be thirsty around here. I need to finish washing clothes too because yesterday I thought that I had turned on the washer and I didn't. So my mind has just been out of it. Like ever since I came back home from deployment, like I've literally just been all over the place. So that was in a, an experience for the books. But yeah, that's probably why I had looked at my calendar and I was like, why am I not showing up? The program that I'm using is uh, called Callen. Callen? Callen? Inly. Callen. Inly. And... <laughs> It wasn't showing up on there, but I, I thought it was just because like maybe I didn't have it like um, correct on my, uh, I don't think, I didn't think that I had it correct on my, uh, like with my settings and stuff. So when I look now at the 26, it's definitely on there. Okay, this is a learning lesson, you know what I mean? Um, so, so this week I have a, I have to go to the town hall. I, mean, I don't have to go, but I'm going to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and RSVP to that. I also have I also have my headshots tomorrow. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna take my hair down so that I can be ready for that, get my outfit ready. It should be pretty good. That experience though with me calling her on accident is definitely gonna be like one for the books. <laughs> well I didn't call her on accident. Um I knew she wanted me to call but on the wrong day. So yeah. It's cool though. So let's go ahead and head to Walmart to get us some water and get us some juice or some cranberry juice. And then we will come back um, and see, and depending on how I feel, I may go ahead and start my paper or start editing one of the two. Um, and then that's just gonna be it. If we see, if I see a bookshelf, I may get the bookshelf, I'm not sure. We're gonna see what, what happens. Um, just because I need somewhere to put my books at because it's just way too many. So yeah, let's go ahead and go. Ooh, it's cold. Okay, guys. So, okay. So I'm about to head to Walmart so I can pick up this uh things to drink and stuff. Let me get this right. I think I accidentally pushed a button. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Walmart really quick. Um, I'm gonna need my GPS cause I don't know where I'm going. So I forgot that it was Sunday, low key. When I was walking down the stairs, I was like, maybe I can go check my mail, see if my internet is here. But it's Sunday and the mail don't run on Sunday. So so we finna head over there real quick. Then we coming right back in the house because it's cold. It's like, I want to say it's like maybe 40. It's probably not 40 degrees. I don't know. I'm probably exaggerating. Let's see. We're going to see how, how what the weather is. It's 54 degrees. It's cold. It is cold. Low key though, I feel like I could get to... I feel like I could get to the store by myself. We ain't got nothing else to do today, so let's just try it and see what happens. And y'all just pray for me, okay? We'll see if I can get there. Um, as long as you can get to like the shopping centers and stuff by yourself, you should be good. One thing that I love about my, where I live now um, in Charlotte is that I can see the planes, uh, like coming from, you know, Charlotte International or whatever. Oh my God, look at the little chihuahua. Oh, he got multiple dogs. Okay. Okay. He got on his little roby robe and stuff. That's cute. But yeah, one thing I like about living where I do is because of the planes. Like, you can see, you can literally see them. Um, and it's not like they're like super, super high. Well, they're super high because, but like, it's like they're just now taking off. 
I love that. And that may just be like the Air Force in me or whatever, or me just being a weirdo, but I really, really, really enjoy that. So, <laughs> I hope I don't get lost because I really don't know where I'm going. <laughs> but um, I think I need to get all, I need to get on the highway. Um, so, <laughs> y'all gonna be with me on this little journey, on this little, um, <laughs> this little uh what is this called when you explore so one thing i don't like is that it's really hard to get out of my uh complex because there's no light yet so but whatever it's cool so let's go guys so i'm really 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 like just i just want to thank god like because i've always dreamed of living here living in charlotte um i'm excited to meet new people and things like that um i've met so i think i told you guys about my goal which is to meet one new person every day so today i have met i haven't met them in person but i've met two people um which is cool so I'm probably, well, no, I actually met more than that. But I also met someone that's living in Virginia. I'm, you guys know I'm originally from Virginia. I met someone that lives up there and she knows, she's a mortgage lender. She knows a lot of people down here. So I thought it would be like, you know, good for us to connect as well as for when I get my license in Virginia too. So that'll be a good give and take type of relationship between me and her as well as, you know, it's good to build like new friendships with people. So besides the business, I, I do need to build up like my friendship uh, list here because I don't know that many people. So um, yeah, meeting one new person every day is definitely the goal. So if you guys are in the area in North Carolina, please let me know because you know, I, I like to meet new people. So okay, I think I'm going the right way. I think I'm gonna go up here and then I'm gonna get on the highway. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to learn my way around, but like, I feel like Charlotte isn't big, but like low key, like there's a lot of like different areas that you could easily like get lost in. So I'm, this is my first attempt without using my GPS. So I think I'm doing good so far. Pretty much gonna get on the highway. And like, I think it's like a quick turnaround. Like, get on the highway and you jump like right off so y'all if i find walmart without looking at my gps y'all have to subscribe to the channel <laughs> you have to leave me a comment subscribe like this video you gotta do that stuff because your girl is making moves you feel me like we really out here doing like big things and i wouldn't be able to do any of this without like without god by my side because lord knows i have been stressed stressed um i'm gonna look at shelves and stuff but or not shelves book bookcases but i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna buy them today i'm probably gonna wait until i'm gonna wait a little bit to see you know what i can what i can find um, but if walmart has some good deals then i may get it from there i'm not sure yet there's a on tiktok there was a Target warehouse. There was a Target warehouse and I went and I thought they were gonna have like a lot more stuff than what they did have, but they had a decent amount of things. They had like these really nice lamps there. So I may end up going to that. Not today, but I do wanna get my lamps from there because the lighting in my apartment is not like, you know what I mean? It's not bright. So, okay, I think I'm getting off on the right. That one, this one right there. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> yes, sir. So remember what I said. I said y'all gotta like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff because your girl found it without the GPS. <laughs> I, I was a little nervous, <laughs> but I found it. So, oh my gosh, like. Okay, so I had stay in the gas station right there, the Shell gas station. So I use Shell for my um for my gas. Usually I um I don't use like other gas stations unless I absolutely have to. But y'all, I stayed over here. So I stayed at the True by Hilton. 
over here and you know i didn't realize that it was so close to where i live so i'm super excited <laughs> super super excited because i found it uh i okay maybe i'm doing too much okay so we're gonna get off right here and then the lows is over here too so that's cool guys y'all should really be proud of your girl for real for real but yeah this has been like my dream for a really long time to really just focus on real estate helping other people find like their dream homes helping people sell their homes or invest into properties like that's i've always wanted to do that and i've always wanted to live in charlotte so it's kind of like everything is finally like starting to piece together i'm just like extremely thankful for you know what i mean like just everything i i wish that i could you know what I mean? Like express my gratitude in a way that was like more, like not more noticeable, but I wish that I could like really show you guys how thankful I am. But once like I get to the point where I want to be at and you know what I mean? Making the money that I want to make, like I'm really like, I'm going to give back for sure. Like I plan to volunteer within the community as well until I can, you know what I mean? Uh, financial contributions to my community because i do plan on turning charlotte into well charlotte is my home now so i plan on really you know what i mean doing my part to make it a better place for those that are like moving moving here right now i feel like housing probably is the biggest hurdle for a lot of people you know that's like the your most expensive living expense i want to figure out a way to make like housing more affordable for people i really don't like seeing um well, I'm sure no one likes seeing homeless people, but I don't like seeing people that are in need and knowing that I could do something to help them. So th those are my goals. Like, I don't really have them like, you know what I mean, uh, set in stone yet, but I do know where my heart is. So you guys watching my videos and supporting me, you're giving me motivation to continue to, you know what I mean, help other people. So I really, really appreciate y'all for watching, honestly. But the Walmart is here. So we're gonna go ahead and go into in there, get our cranberry juice and get the water. And then we're gonna head back to the apartment, take care of that homework so we can knock that out, so we can relax for the rest of the day. And then that's just gonna be it. Uh, so I will check back in with you guys actually i'm gonna i'm gonna wait until i actually get into walmart so that you guys can make uh y'all can see that i'm not like capping or anything about finding it without my gps because clearly i've been talking to you guys on the phone this entire time um i don't know why it's like when i went to when i used my gps um what was it a couple of days ago it took me to a walmart that was kind of far i'm not sure if i was already out or what it was but So I wonder if there's a car. Yes, there definitely is. Um, sir, please. Oh, he can't find his car. Lord Jesus. It's cold out here. I hope he can find it. Um, okay, let's just park here. Okay. So we are at Wally World. So y'all turn around. And actually, let me just go ahead and do it like this. So Walmart. Click that subscribe button. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead in here and grab this stuff, and I'm gonna check right back in with you. Okay, guys, so I finally am done in Walmart. I grabbed some water, I grabbed cranberry juice, and I also grabbed some, um, like a couple of sprites or whatever. Y'all know that's like my kryptonite. So now I'm gonna head back to the apartment. Um, I need to make a phone call, so I'm actually not gonna be talking to you guys while I'm on my way back to the apartment. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going, so don't worry, guys. I am gonna make it back to the apartment without my GPS. Walmart was kind of packed a little bit, like the line was kind of long, but everything's fine so i will check back in with you guys once i get back to the apartment guys so i've been back at my apartment for like three four hours now and i took a nap now i'm attempting to do this homework but tiktok has a hold on me like i'm on tiktok Hey, like I'm on TikTok like real bad. So, oh, I guess it's time to be studious and do this. Um, I don't even know. 
I just I really wouldn't consider it a paper but it's only 100 words but the reading is long so I have to read like 29 pages from my textbook so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then after I'm done with the reading I'm going to go back into the kitchen cook up some dinner I may actually take my I'm gonna make some fish uh and probably like some asparagus or some broccoli or something probably asparagus so low-key I might take my fish out right now so it can like be um unthawed by the time I'm done with this paper and then I'm gonna come back here and check in with you guys um let y'all know how it's going my goal is to have this paper done or this case study done by by, let's say we're gonna have the case study, case study done by eight it's currently 5 21 so i'll uh, just pray for you girl okay and stay tuned okay guys so i'm finally finished with this paper guys it literally took me i said earlier that i was gonna be done at like eight o'clock or 8 30 or something like that it's 10 04 that paper look, took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. So now I need to first get in the shower and I need to find me something to eat. I was gonna make some fish, some asparagus and all that good stuff, but now I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna make some oatmeal, you know, make something filling. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and look at y'all. My ears was getting cold while I was writing my paper. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of my, um, get all of my stuff situated that way that i can take me a shower um i may end up studying a little bit tonight as well not just you know doing homework for school i also need to make sure that i'm studying for my appraisal course so i haven't been able to really look at that for like a couple of days so i want to really make sure that i'm not neglecting that part of um, my education so i'm gonna study a little bit of that today um, or tonight um so i probably will be going to sleep around 12 you know it's all for the betterment of me and for my future so keep that i'm gonna keep that in mind you know on the days that i don't necessarily feel like doing things i'm gonna make sure that i still do them so let's go ahead and get everything out right now um y'all i love 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 oh my feet are really cold um i love no i'm not gonna be able to see i love my shower so all of those like have jets in them so it pretty much like sprays my whole body so whoever designed that you're the goat if you need okay so and in this apartment there's like there's two closets so like this is like my my business wear closet and even though i don't have a lot of like business stuff <laughs> But look, by the time I become like this really popular realtor, I'm going to have a bunch of business clothes, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm still going to be me, so don't don't think that I'm going to, you know, change up my style completely, but I am going to be like, you know, adding to my professional wardrobe. So, close that. Guys, I really do not like walking on the floor without my um without socks on. So it seems like I'm gonna have to give me like some like house slippers or something. Cause right now I'm just wearing like the um, Yeezy socks. So, and it's so dark in here too. Oh my gosh. Praying that I don't fall and trip over anything. Okay. So I'm gonna close these blinds because it is now nighttime. I don't need to have them open. I need to give me some patio furniture too um, so that I can sit outside when it gets warm. But once that once that weather starts to come around, then I'll go ahead and you know invest into me some patio furniture. So that's where you guys were sitting at earlier. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my oatmeal out now. That way that once I get out of the shower, I can just come on in here and um and just get that ready so so quaker you see us you can know I mean? <laughs> sponsor your girl you know what i mean okay so i think one pack is probably enough for me we're gonna get our little sugar out i'm also gonna put some um i'm gonna put some butter in it too so there is the bowl that we're gonna use <sighs> what else do we need and we're gonna put a couple of blackberries in it as well okay. yeah. so it's not really you know dinner per se but 
it's going to do what it needs to do for me um, until in the morning when I have actually feel like making something to eat. Um, that paper kind of just like drained me. So tomorrow morning, what I need to do, I need to wake up, clean my kitchen, of course, talk to you guys, um, get these clothes, fold them up. Uh... I need to prepare. I have my headshots tomorrow, so I'm gonna be vlogging that experience as well. I'm gonna study, probably see what homework I have to do for this week, and then, you know, come back and do all of that good stuff. So, you guys will catch me in the morning. I love every single one of you. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. I really appreciate each and every single one of you, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.